Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 55 from our bootcamp series. In the last lecture, we discussed about has many association. In this lecture, we will discuss about belongs to association. But before that, we need to know that what is a belongs to association. So a belongs to association sets up a connection with another model such that its instance of declaring model belongs to one instance of the other model. Here, I will take uh, post and comment example again to demonstrate how belongs to works. So in this example, you can see that comment model has implemented the belongs to association. It means that every instance of comment model must belongs to some instance of a post model. Okay. Now, how to implement one to many relationship? Okay. So has many plus belongs to form one to many. Okay. So has many and belongs to form one to many relationship in real world. In this example, uh, our post and comment example, both forms one to many relationship. Okay. Now also to implement this one to many relationship, we need to store the primary key of a model defining has many association into the model defining belongs to association, which is also known as foreign key. So here two concepts are very important that primary key and foreign key. Let me show you using some example. Open your schema.rb. In schema.rb you can see that no table has mention anything like primary key or foreign key okay but by default rails generate an id attribute for every instance of a model of or of a record for example if you uh, run the rails console here and you will try to fetch an student let's find an student student dot all oh, sorry first Okay, no student. Let's run Rails DB seed. Let's create some students. And once we create a student, we can see that uh, there is a student with some ID attribute. Now run the Rails console. Face the first student. Student equal to student dot first here you can see that this student has id one okay mm -hmm. and first name last name and emails of attributes and rest of the attributes are nil because we haven't provided will there but that is not the concern for now here you can see that student with id 1 now we can find student dot ids all the ids of the student that this is the id we have 21 students and each one has id uh, id sequencing 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this id by default known as primary key of any student okay why because this is unique and using this id you can uniquely identify a student instance in the students table or in student model so what is the primary key now we can answer that a primary key is an attribute in the table which uniquely identify a record or an instance of model and this primary key cannot be null okay this is always must be present okay now what is the foreign key okay if we uh, build um, for example if we implement any association with another model with uh, a student and if we implement has many association in a student then id of the student must be stored in that ch uh, child model and in that case the id of the primary key of the student record or student model must be known as foreign key or is known as foreign key okay now to understand this concept uh, much better uh, let's implement a blog model okay 
and here we are considering that an student can write as many as blocks so let's implement a blog model here it's the con console here it takes g model block provide two attributes here title text sorry title string and content text now press the enter and you will see a model and migration is generated here for blog model okay now one thing to note that we are only generating model and migration for blogs we are not creating controller and views for it but i will add this as assignment for you for now let's generate model and uh, migration only and we will talk about the assignment at the end of the lecture okay so now here you can see that we have generated blog and sorry blog model now open the schema sorry migration folder in migration folder you can see here create table blocks or t dot string title and t dot text content and open your app folder and in the model right now this blog has no association defined and we also have not defined any association in the students model but what we will do here that uh, we will add a primary key here for students uh, instance into the blog okay so let's add the primary key here here you can add it like t dot integer and student id now this student id is the known is known as foreign key in this blogs model okay and this student id will be actually the primary key of a student record okay or primary key from student model now let's run this migration when you run this migration let's open your schema.rb and you will see a blocks table here which has title as string content as text and student id as integer however there was there was another way for uh, generating this migration as well using the uh, uh, student uh, student colon references uh, along with the model but uh, i haven't uh, did that here because i just wanted to show that how we can add uh, primary a foreign key of uh, a model into another model so that's why i added the student id manually here but uh, later in the course we will uh, add the reference key or foreign keys by generating model itself okay now open your blog model since we have a student id inside the blog model so we can add an attribute here let's say sorry we can define association here belongs to a student okay. now we have defined belongs to a student here and now open your student model and in this student model we need to define as many blocks now save it okay so this is how you can for uh, for now let's uh, just comment out this validation uh, sorry callback okay. it means every student has many blocks okay and this can be identified by this line okay now our blog model has association belongs to student and student model has association has many blocks now open your seed file okay, we have 21 students defined here now open 
student dot all to j student now let's create two blocks for every student student dot blocks dot create title and blog student oh, let's interpolate this thing here we need a student id to give a unique title ID and make content like some content pending. Okay, and now let's copy this line and create another student with that. Okay, now copy this content or copy this iterator and uh, Create so you run Rails console, Rails C, whatever you want. Now paste the content here, okay, and press enter. Now you can see that it will create 42 blocks, two for each student because we created all the student collection and created two blocks for each student so now first let's count the blocks block dot count sorry type of mistake we have 42 blocks here now okay for up now call the first student student equal to student dot first okay now student dot blocks okay so we have blocks for this student so first we just fetched the student and then we can load all the blocks of for this student so it means we implemented a one to many relationship here using has many plus belongs to combination okay similarly you can find a blog and then you can fetch its student for example let's say blog equal to blog dot last okay now you can fetch the student of this blog blog dot student when you access this student you can see student dot id 21 first name last name and other attributes okay so this is how you can access parent from child instance and this is how you can get all children sorry okay this is the i don't know where the query disappears okay but uh, let's say a student dot blocks again so this is how we can get all the children of a parent instance and this is how we can get a parent of a child instance now what the thing you need to uh, remember about uh, let's first say this what thing you need to remember about defining this association that whenever you define belongs to association you must uh, care that your defining association or the belongs to association name must be singular here you can see that blog has defined belongs to student it means student must be in plural why because it is defining through belongs to association and now here you can see that student has many blocks so whenever you reference uh, another model using has many association you must name it as plural form okay so if you have a student then you can find all the blocks of for this student using student dot blocks method and if you have block 
already then you can find student of it like blog dot student so this is the thing that you must be careful about belongs to association must have its parent name as singular and the parent name must have its children model child model as plural okay why because simply as the name suggests that uh, blog must belongs to a single student and a student can have as many as blogs okay so that is the thing that we need to be careful about and we saw that how we can implement one to many association and how we can access uh, children record through parent and we also saw that how we can access parent through a child record so here we completed the implementation of belongs to plus has many or you can say we completed the implementation of one to many and now i believe you will be able to implement any kind of one to many association in your else application and that we will see in coming lectures that when we build other features in our rails application okay so now it's the question time what is belongs to association okay how to implement one to many relationship between two models in rails what do you mean by primary keys and foreign keys you must know about primary keys and foreign keys because uh, this is very basic plus uh, rails independent concept but this is very important concept that uh, will be helpful for throughout the rails development uh, or throughout the web development or any kind of development where the database involved and the real world entities relationship involved foreign keys and primary keys are very important concept and you must be aware about that and the fourth question is that what rails associations are used to implement one to many relationships so that the answer is very simple you need to form has many plus belongs to combination to implement one to many relationship so that's all from this lecture here you have seen that what is belongs to association and how to implement one to many association in rails hope you guys have enjoyed this thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata Goodbye, take care and stay safe.